नमस्कार आई एम मेहुल फ्रॉम फिल्टर कंसेप्ट सो इन अवर अर्लियर एपिसोड वी डिस्कस अबाउट लिक्विड फिल्ट्रेशन एंड सम ऑफ द मेजर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फैक्टर विच कैन यू नो हेल्प इन डिजाइन एडिक्वेट सिस्टम फॉर राइट फिल्ट्रेशन सोल्यूशन सो वी कवर्ड फ्लोरेट वी डिस्कस अबाउट मटेरियल टू बी हैंडल्ड and we discuss about viscosity we'll try to uh, cover temperature pressure and suspended solid load in our today's episode uh as uh, you know uh, working with industry for so many years i had always seen that you know uh, industry asked to design system with available data and they want designer to design system with certain assumption now it's really very difficult for any designer to design a right filtration product without having all these 10 parameters one cannot compromise with any of the data flow rate is equally important because that would define filtration capacity viscosity as we discuss it will contribute majorly in terms of selecting right filtration area or filtration medium and uh, you know uh, the overall uh, throughput for that filtration system and uh, the the basic fluid or liquid uh, for which filtration system is designed because chemical compatibility is 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 really a very key factor while selecting the right filtration product for any application same way temperature pressure and suspended solid loads are important parameter different filter medium beat filter cartridge or filter bag or any other filtration medium and filter body and even the gasket have a very great impact with this factor called temperature if you see uh, conventionally lot of filter media are available in polypropylene but if you see polypropylene has a very wide chemical compatibility it can be used for good number of application but it has a temperature limitation you cannot use polypropylene for any application beyond 80 degree centigrade so that's the limitation so that's how temperature plays a major role in terms of selecting the right filter media for the requirement for the application pressure pressure uh, would design or define what should be the adequate thickness of the filter body or the filtration equipment because filtration body or filtration equipment has to handle working pressure of say for example x working pressure or, or x uh, kg per cm square of uh, operating pressure so filtration equipment has to design 1.5 times or 1.33 times of that operating pressure to get desired result and that's how pressure is an important parameter in terms of identifying what should be the wall thickness or you know even the shelf length thickness and other critical uh, component of filter body 
So that that's that's uh, uh, you know a pressure we discuss. Now talking about suspended solid load. Generally, uh, what I have seen that uh, industry don't have much data on this parameter, and this this suspended solid load is again a very tricky parameter while designing a right filtration product or right filtration solution for the application. So, suspended solid, nature of contaminants and bulk density of that contaminants is a very wide subject in terms of selecting right filtration product. I am giving you one example. Let us say we have uh, an application from uh, a pharmaceutical industries or food beverages industry where the requirement is a removal of color and order from any liquid. And here they are using certain activated carbon during the process to remove or to improvise color and taste or order of the material. And finally, they have to recover that carbon or they have to dispose that, uh, that activated carbon. Now, if you see the carbon has a bulk density of say 0.6 gram per centimeter cube or say 600 kg per meter cube, it required greater area or I would say larger volume to hold that, that carbon. So, here we are talking about why bulk density of particle is important. Coming to the second point of uh, you know nature of contaminants. Now, contaminants could be uh, you know uh, easily settleable, it could be slimy in nature, it could be sticky in nature. Now, this nature of contaminants would again help us in defining and selecting right filter media for application. If you are using any depth media and you are dealing with uh, uh, you know an application where uh, contaminants are say sticky or slimy in nature, they will create a layer, first layer on the media itself and that won't allow next fluid to pass through and that will create challenge. Of course, uh, there would be a challenge of increasing higher differential pressure across the filter. Now, this could be a technical parameter which I would try to cover in next, uh, uh, you know, next phase of our discussion. But yes, uh, this would create challenge for, for all of us while designing the right filtration solution. So, analysis of solids and analysis of solid particulates are very important. This is going to be a bit uh, lengthy subject. I would try to dedicate a full episode on this and uh, we will take into our next episode. Till then, we will we'll try to conclude here and as usual we should we we'll look forward to your valued comments and suggestion for us. Thank you so much for appreciating. Thank you.